Trying to organize dozens or hundreds of SharePoint sites? Hub sites can bring order to the chaos, but only if you use them the right way. I'm Alison Gonzalez, a Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And in this video, we will walk through what a SharePoint hub site actually is, how to set one up, and how to connect other sites to it. And most importantly, when using a hub site makes sense and when it doesn't. Let's start with the basics. A hub site is a top level site in SharePoint that connects related sites together. It unifies branding, navigation, and even search across the connected sites. If you're working in a small team with just a few sites, you probably don't need a hub site, but in larger organizations or departments where you have a lot of related team sites, say for different regions, different projects, or different business units, a hub site can help centralize the experience. It's really like giving users one front door to everything that they need, and then they can walk into that room, that room, that room, right, depending on where they need to go for whatever content they are looking for related to that team. To create a hub site, you need to be a SharePoint admin, and from the admin center, find the site you want to promote. This could be a communication site or a team site that serves essentially as the parent to your other related sites. I have each of these open, so let's take a look because they all are also styled differently and that is gonna come into play. So first off, here is my marketing hub. Here is the website asset. And then here is the YouTube one, right? Notice they all have different themes and colors selected. Well, when you go and you click on the one that you want to set as your hub, right up here in the hub dropdown, I can select register as a hub site. By clicking on that, I get to name it, the hub name, I'm just gonna call this marketing hub. And then I can also choose people who can associate sites with this hub here. You can change this later on. I generally will always get everything set up before I add people to anything like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now that this is registered as a hub site, I can go to my other sites to then tie them in. Selecting my website assets, I can either click right here on the hub and hit associate as a hub. You will also notice this if you click on the name, have your pane pop out from the right, you have a hub association area where you can also do that same thing right from here. So if you already have that pane open, you're already making some changes in here, you can associate it right from here, which I'll do for this one, bring it into that marketing hub. And then for the final one for my YouTube one, I'm gonna associate it with the hub right up here. And again, we have that same ability to select that marketing hub. So now I have three sites tied together, right? The very first one I registered as the hub and that's telling SharePoint that site is going to become the anchor for the others, right? That's the main one for that. Having it named, the marketing hub or project central makes it easy to identify for users that it's there. You can also assign other owners here, as I mentioned, to make sure that there's other people that are able to control the elements in here. And you can also have, you know, delegate, right? Be like, hey, you are taking control of navigation. You're taking control of branding. Because now that I've connected these other distinct sites, I'm gonna do a little refresh on my pages here to show you the change that's going to happen for all three of these. Now I can see I have a unified link at the top. So here's my original one, my marketing hub, which was this blue. Now my website assets has the exact same colors. It has the same setup as before, but all of the colors and all of the branding are adjusted the same with my YouTube one. I also have the ability on the hub site to add any links up here at the top. So it has this unified navigation to go anywhere that I want to push them. And that's gonna then show up on those other hub sites. What's also great about this unified 
branding is it means in one place you can change your company colors. Let's say they update colors. You don't have to go to every single site to do that. You can have the same logo uploaded in one place that's going to go to all of them. You can have this very easy to control, right? One spot you update it, and then as many hubs as you have connected are all going to then inherit those same stylistic choices that you set. A very other important aspect to consider is now that we have our sites connected, instead of just searching one site when we go to search, it is then going to search across all of the sites in the hub. So I search here at one place, I'm going to see content, I'm going to see results from all of the other associated sites. It's a very powerful way to unify experience without restructuring the content. Now, hub sites are great but they are not for every scenario. You don't wanna create a hub for every team or project defeats the purpose a little bit. Stick to hubs for themes of content. So like the departments are the same, they have all the things like our marketing one here, regions, right? Everyone on the East Coast needs access to um, this element, this element, this element, and this element, and that's tied in the East Coast hub versus the West Coast hub, right? It has all of the stuff that might be different or similar right over there tied to them. So. It's not just a, hey, let's put all of the company is related to this, so let's put one site in here and have a lot of related things. No, you definitely want to make sure that you have that similar theme tied through for all of them that makes sense to group them together. Now, if you find yourself needing multiple hubs, right, we've got the marketing group. Now I want to do one for the back office team, and now I want to do one for the developer team, right? Consider having a home site that then will link to those hubs to really offer a easy to access location. I love when I go on site and I see companies that we work with that have that SharePoint site as their homepage, right? When they open up their browser and they have all of the access to everything they need there. And then they have access to any hub sites from there, right? Directing them to where they need to go. The last thing I'm gonna tell you, avoid changing hub associations too frequently. A site can only be associated with one hub at a time. And you don't want to constantly be taking out this hub, joining it over to that one, taking it from there, putting it over here. It's just going to confuse those users and it's going to disrupt their search patterns. They're used to searching in the top, knowing that they can then access it. Well, once you rip it out of that hub and put it somewhere else, they would then have to go to that other location to find that information. If you are looking to learn more, check out our SharePoint playlist right here on YouTube and dive in deeper over on our On Demand. We've got a ton of SharePoint classes as well as lots of SharePoint admin classes as well. You can dive in and learn a lot more. Don't forget, let me know in the comments, have you set up a hub site yet? Let me know what your structure looks like. I'm nosy and I like to know. And also what's stopping you from building one. I love to check these out and I'll be lurking in the comments for the next few weeks to check those out.